as a as a filmmaker, mm -hmm. your your process with making a doc. I mean, it's sort of different every time. Mm -hmm. But how do you kind of know when you found that great subject, or when you're like, I'm super compelled by this? Because there's so many things that we're all curious about. Yeah. But how are you like? I'm going to commit X amount of time, which we know is a lot of time. Yes. <laughs> to this. Yes. What for you? What is when do you know? Well, I mean, there's a for this story in particular. I think. It was the scene where we went back to his, his old West Village apartment. Because mm. that was another long day. It was the first time he'd been to many of the locations that, in Brooklyn that he had grown up. His father's shoe store, his apartment, his, um, his uh, apartment, or his house, his brownstone that he lived in when he was a kid. We, we weren't even filming. We were all sitting around drinking espressos. <laughs> <laughs> and he was sitting on the windowsill talking to me, and he just got up and started acting out all these scenes. Mm. Just started doing it. Right. And it was, and my, my DP, Karim Lopez, I had two great DPs for this film, Karim Lop Lopez and Trevor Tweeten, and uh, he just looked at me and he's just like, what do you think's happening here? <laughs> and it was like Richard III, it was like very Shakespearean, where mm. he was just like, this was my kingdom, what happened? You know, my kingdom, mm. my kingdom is gone. That's what he was doing. Like, and that, then he tells the whole story in the mirror yeah. about you know acting. And that's when I knew. I thought, you know, I have something here that no one has ever captured. You know, and that we have to try to continue to go in this direction and also support him because part of this process for him, in terms of what I you know would talk to him about, was an attempt to find some peace. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of the story is not the hero or the lone, you know, as he says in the one thing about being the lone, lone ranger, it, it's really about all this trauma and terror that he went through and, and not really getting support or acknowledgement for that. Yeah. And that to me is more of a metaphorical story for where, where we are in society in terms of abuse of power and corruption and things like that where you know, people don't feel like they have a voice and they feel terrorized or afraid to speak out. And you see someone like Serpico who's famous for doing that yeah. and still, who's still wrestling with a lot of that. So, yeah, that, that was the moment.